The second question is to find the measure of line segments. It is another easy and simple topic. Here you have been told to find the value of the variable of y z if y is in between x and z. That's a crooked line, but anyways, x and z over here and y is somewhere in between, okay? I'll just put a random point. I don't know exactly the measures over here, but randomly, this is what it looks like. Now, x and y is given as 11. Y and z is given as 4c. And the total distance is given as 83. Now, how do you find the variable and the dimension y and z? So, to find y, z, it's very simple. Just do 83 minus 11. That's your answer. It'll be 73 minus 1, 72. Because the total minus this part gives you the remaining part. That's it. Now, to find 4c, once you find 72, it is very simple. 4c will be equal to 72. Otherwise, you can also do it by 11 plus 4c will be equal to 83. You will get the same answer. Divide both the sides by 4. We know this is 20 minus 2. It will be c will be 18. That's the answer. Use your calculators to solve it. It's very straightforward. 18 and 72 is the answers. Same way, try these problems by yourselves. I'll just do one more over here. Same situation. We have the total length of 175. That's the total. And we have been told here x and y. This is y, x and z, 6b and 8b. Here, what you need to do is the best way would be add 6, 6b plus 8b will be equal to 175. Now we can easily find the value of b. 8 plus 6 would be 14b that is equal to 175. Now just divide 175 by 14 and then solve it and then substitute over here the b value and solve for whichever you need. If it's yz, 8 into 175 by 14. So that's the answer. It's 12.5 here and then it'll be 100. Please do the remaining problems by yourselves. It's just that you need to know which is the midpoint. Y is in between. So XY plus YZ. 7A plus 5A would be the total distance. That is this over here. Once you find the variable, find the length as well. Similarly, do the other problems by yourselves and then check for the answers. They're very straightforward. Oh, by the way, by the way, you can also... You can also try putting this equation directly in the calculator and it will give you the answer. I'll show you now. All you need to know is this variable can be typed in your calculator as x. That is alpha and this closing bracket symbol gives you x. Unknown variable x. Plus 6 alpha x equals is given by alpha and calc. That is 12 alpha x minus 8. And shift and solve. If you press equal to you are getting an error. Press shift and then solve and now press equal to the answer is 4. The variable answer is 4. Now 4 times, what is yz? It's 4 times over here. Sorry, we need to see 6 times 4. w times 6 will give you the answer. Please do the remaining problems by yourselves and then check for the answers. All the solutions are given over here. You can find this presentation in the description. Just click on that telegram link. And you can view the group and download these material with the solution. So that's it. Please do practice more problems. And if you have any doubts, post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very soon.